We were really excited when we received the phone call from the club to ask if we could help with the 125 year logo. Um, I've been a Subiaco supporter my entire life. Uh, absolutely love the football club and so it was a, it was a real honour. And then to then actually dive into the design process and build something um, was a lot of fun. So as when starting with any design um, process is we really wanted to understand, well, what are we trying to achieve? Um, and it was very, very clear that over 125 years, Subiaco uh, has a very rich history. And so for us, it was about honouring that history um, and importantly, also making sure that we're looking forward as well with a really modern approach to the logo. And so it was those two things that we were looking to merge um, as the key priorities when we were building it out. Um, we went through a number of iterations during the process um, and we probably got it down to about three or four different versions that we were really happy with. However, there was one that stood out to us very clearly and, and what we like about it was the fact that we were able to merge um, a lot of the older elements from some of the older logos, um, such as the lion on there. Um, we've got the stripes as well and we've got the shield. They're all three things that are part of traditional Subiaco Lions logos. But then we've also put in something really subtle that a lot of um, people wouldn't realise when they're looking at it and that is the wreath around the sides and each wreath has 15 leaves on there and that's representative of the 15 premierships that uh, the club has won. And it's really pleasing to go to the footy each week and see the players wearing it on their Guernseys and just knowing that uh, that logo is something that's going to be remembered for such a significant milestone.